What will fit in the Sea Eagle Razor Light tandem kayak? We've had questions regarding if dogs will fit, kids will fit, or gear. We'll show you how much space you have to work with and hit the water and see the kayak in action. One boat in. Second boat in. Seat in. At all. In. Right bag. In. Pump. Cart in. Done. The drain plugs are in. That would be bad. Whoops. Mold and mice. Hey. A little bit of water. I don't see any mice poop. This is the back side. Um, keep our dry bag in. Yes, a small child has fit in there. Hand size here. Um, Greg, I mean, you could possibly put somebody or a pet right in between legs. They're sitting down. And then same with up here. Small dog could fit in between your legs. And our dry bag, our small dry bag could fit right inside there. Well, we made it out onto the water. The water's actually going uh, pretty strong today. We're gonna go upstream and then we'll float back down. Kelly's notorious for having a crooked life jacket. For all those OCD people. Although today, nailed it. Okay, so you people want to know how tippy is the sea eagle? <laughs> so, Kelly's up front, she's, uh, I would say she's moderately stable. And, uh, this, okay, I'm gonna start wiggling my butt. It, it does not make me feel comfortable. It pivots pretty easy. As long as you have a little bit of balance in your body, which some people don't, uh, it's, it's not terrible. Plus when you're moving, it's much easier. Sitting still, not so much. There was a small little turtle back there on that log. We didn't even know there were turtles out here. We've seen a couple ducks too. I think they were fighting over uh, who gets the lady. The lady duck. It's just the trick of being in the back. Just pretend like you're paddling, but you don't actually paddle. <laughs> and she does the paddle. We don't say anything. How much room do I have in the back there? There's room for a small kid in back there, as long as they're paying attention. And in here, I've got this space here, but in front of my feet, there's quite a bit of space. I don't know, I think a dog would do pretty good right there. Dog would lay down right there. You could put a kid there, but it would be a little bit of a pain. And then Kelly's got a little bit of room up front underneath the, little thing here. We yeah, keep... right between my legs there could be a person or a kid or a dog. Our uh, five liter dry bag fits up there pretty good. We ended up storing the boat over winter in our garage. It was fairly secured, but it was just in its bag. And when we opened it up, we found no mice, no bugs. There was a, there was, uh, when we unfolded it, there was a smidge of water droplets in there still, so, I don't know. I guess it was just a little bit wet that just never dries because it's all folded up. 
but it doesn't smell and it doesn't look bad and we're still floating so that's good well when you're kayaking you get to see things from a different view this is highway 99 on by portland from the bottom we just saw a baby mink squirrel otter beaver thing back there <laughs> <laughs> Kelly thought it was a swimming squirrel. Could be. It was only like a maybe a foot long and he had a rat tail. I guess it could have been a rat. We are one hour mark and my butt hurts. It's the padding is nice, but after a while just sitting hurts. Gregory, your bottom? Uh, my butt is not too bad. Over and beyond her is the infamous, rarely seen river squirrel. Or some other water creature, I don't know. So these are nice little foot pedal thingy my bobbers. And they're pretty easy to maneuver. We just you can actually do them with your foot if you had to. <laughs> but it's much easier to do it with your hand. And you can just adjust the length you need, just depending on your height. Since I am a little bit taller, I like to keep mine a little bit farther down. Give me a just a slight bent knee. <laughs> <laughs> 